हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आवर सेकंड वीडियो फॉर टू डेज सीरीज हाउ टू अप्रोच अ केस ऑफ एनेमिया सो स्टेट इन विद द वीडियो एंड वॉच टिल देन सो यू मे फाइंड इट यूजफुल एंड यू मे नो हाउ टू अप्रोच एंड हाउ टू इवेल्यूट द केस ऑफ एनेमिया स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो हियर इज द केस डिस्कशन इनिशियली आई विल डिस्कस द केस एंड हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट एंड हाउ टू इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड हाउ टू अ ट्रीटमेंट मोडालिटी अवेलेबल फॉर दिस केस सो स्टार्टिंग विद द केस प्रेजेंटेशन सेवेंटी इयर ओल्ड मेल प्रेजेंट विद अ फोर्टी shortness of breath and weakness history present is the diet is the good no medication no previous history of anemia no family history of anemia but physical examination shows that there is the paler present no jaundice tachycardia and cachexia is the present and the cbc is the suggestive of the hemoglobin is the 65 wbc is the 5.5 5.8 platelet count is the 487 okay so what do you want to know next and the mcv is the 75 and the low reticular sound so this is the red cell indices suggestive of the low level of the indices mcv is the low mean corpuscular volume of the patient is the low hemoglobin is the so much elevated for this patients and paler is the present so there is the hemo uh, anemia is the present in this case so let's discuss how to evaluate the case of the anemia so we have to go the laboratory investigation for this case so for that we have to go about the complete blood count reticulocyte count and uh, there is the red cell indices present in the mch mcv and mchc and also we will take the serum ferritin serum iron total iron binding capacity serum transferrin and bone marrow transfer tran, uh, bone marrow tran, bone marrow reticulocyte and rbc and iron level we are checking with the laboratory investigations so we have to do the do these investigations okay from this this investigation we are going to know that the mcv mchc and mc mch level from the of uh, this patient we found that the mch mcv is the low so i made a flow chart that how to go about the different red cell indices so we have to laboratory investigation for cbc complete blood count and do a peripheral smear if the in the complete blood count we are found that the patient is the mcv is the low 80 more less than 80 so we found that there is a microcytic anemia and serum serum iron study show that the there is the low iron and ferritin with a total iron binding capacity so in the suggest you there is the iron deficiency anemia because the uh, deficient of iron iron binding capacity increase and opposite in the uh, ferritin is the decrease so this is the case of iron deficiency anemia so if the mcv is the less than 80 and we found that the there is the normal iron and normal or low ferritin with the low total iron binding capacity so there is the difficult uh, any deficiency in the iron binding capacity so it is suggestive of the component of anemia chronic disease with the iron deficiency anemia because of that chronic deficiency of iron iron deficiency of anemia iron is not not binding with that iron so and the third index is we are going to tell about the menser index this is not the important but this is the done in the thalassemia case so no need to worry next is the mc which is the 80 to 100 From 80 to 100, we are finding that the, there is the normocytic anemia. So we are going to the next count, reticulocyte count. If in the blood peripheral blood smear we found that the, there is a less than two percent of reticulocyte reticulocyte count, so there is the hypoproliferative. So it is suggestive of the any leukemia, aplastic anemia, which is the complete absence of the RBCs, pure cell red cell in aplasia, or there is the fibrosis or other bone marrow bone bone marrow failure syndromes. Okay. so if the hypoproliferative reticulocyte count suggest you of these symptoms and the suggest you of these syndromes so if the reticulocyte count is the present more than two hypoproliferative so we have to suggest there is the any hemorrhage or any hemolytic anemia because of that compensation bone marrow is producing more rbc with the presence of more reticulocyte count so it is suggest you of hemolytic anemia okay with the normal mcv mcv level and the third evaluation is the if the mcv level is the more than 100 we have to go about with the macrocytic anemia in a, in the peripheral blood smear we are finding that the peripheral blood smear we are found the big rbc with the megalocyte and segmented neutrophil in the peripheral blood smear okay so if the megaloblastic anemia is the present and rbc is the more in uh, increase in the size so we have to evaluate there is the vitamin b12 vitamin nail folic acid or scopolamin or there is the also anti drug induced so drug induced and vitamin b12 or folate deficiency present with the megaloblastic anemia in the peripheral blood smear okay so if the megaloblastic anemia so there is no megaloblastic the cell is the present in the peripheral blood smear so we have to know the cell so there is the cause of alcohol abuse myelodysplastic syndrome or any liver disease or any, any congenital bone marrow failure syndromes present because that uh, bone marrow is the not producing the enough cells enough rbcs so there is the no compensation 
so no no megaloblastic cell present in the bone marrow and we are not finding the in the peripheral smear that there is a available of megaloblastic cells okay so we have to evaluate the one by one if the mcv level less than 80 we have to go about the serum ion study from the ion study we are taking the ferritin and total ion binding capacity level it is suggest you iron deficiency anemia or suggest you any chronic disease in the chronic disease we are finding the less in total ion binding capacity and in the normal mcv level we are finding that this hypoproliferative and hypoproliferative disease mcv is the more than 80 megaloblastic anemia or non megaloblastic anemia in the congenital disease or any liver malfunction presenting the disease we are also evaluating the there is the microcytic anemia megaloblastic anemia or in the iron study or ferritin study we are also know that the, there is a microcytic hypochromic or color of the rbc hyperchromic or hyperchromic rbc or normochromic normocytic rbc so how to treat me how to treat the cases of anemia there is the so much treatment available but we have to home remedies also available so there is the pomegranate febum uh, whole grains tomatoes spinach dates nuts or liver legumes or bananas also available for the treatment modality of the iron cases in the home remed home remedies for this patients also we have the treatment of choice for this iron preparations also available for this patients there is a two root iron oral root and parenteral root also available for this patients so we in the iron oral root available the ferrous sulfate ferrous gluconate and ferrous fumarate this different ferrous sulfate ferrous ferrous fumarate and ferrous gluconate available is the different terms and different uh, preparations and in, in the parenteral iron there is the available of the iron dextans iron dextans is the given in the iv form and with the dextro solutions this is the easy and increase the hemoglobin level in the iron deficiency anemia faster in in the pregnancy we are giving the iron parenteral iron if the iron need is more or hemoglobin level is the so much level so we have to increase the hemoglobin level so there is so much preparation available in the market so you may use this or you may take the home remedies for treatment of iron anemia so this is the case i will put the flow chart in the my telegram channel so you may go about it and learn one by one step so this is the two days approach of case of anemia one by one step so thank you so much guys keep learning with us and if you like our the efforts so please like share and subscribe thank you so much guys and keep learning